One of the main reasons the industry moved towards 3D9 was because of the better electrostatic or the promise of better electrostatics in 3D9. So 2D9, its electrostatics becomes worse as you scale the the device and scale the dimensions as you bring these word lines closer to each other or you bring these bit lines closer to each other. There is a lot of increase in this cell-to-cell coupling that is between two cells which are on the alternate word lines or between two cells which are on alternate bit lines. This coupling essentially which is the coupling between the floating gate in one cell with the floating gate uh, in the neighboring cell it essentially worsens as you scale the dimensions of uh, 2D NAND. Another thing that uh, is a figure of merit usually for uh, the electrostatic is this gate coupling ratio which uh, was defined earlier uh, when we talked about 2D9. It essentially refers to this capacitive coupling between the control gate uh, and the floating gate relative to the total capacitance of this uh, floating gate. So as uh, you scale this uh, 2D9 device, the gate coupling ratio, it uh, decreases because the relative fraction of uh, this uh, control gate capacitance versus the total capacitance of the floating gate uh, decreases because the floating gate is now coupling much more to its neighboring cell versus what it's coupling with the control gate. As we move to from uh, 2D9 to 3D9, you see that you know there is a big big jump in this uh, gate uh, coupling ratio because the control gate it's now surrounding this uh, charge trapping flash layer and it's able to couple very effectively with this uh, control gate. So people who work uh, in the logic industry they know that you know the best. Uh, uh, architecture for uh, having the maximum coupling is often this uh, gate uh, all around architecture where your control gate is surrounding from all side this um, charge trap layer and this essentially would result in the maximum coupling between this control gate and this uh, charge trap flash. So this gate coupling ratio it increases substantially as you move uh, from uh, a 2D to a 3D NAND uh, flash. And if you increase your gate coupling ratio, you can essentially reduce the uh, voltage that you require to program this cell. Now, the other big problem why the industry you know, seriously considered 3D NAND uh, flash uh, cell was the problem with electrostatics uh, in 2D9 is that the interference or the cell-to-cell coupling becomes worse uh, in a 2D9 uh, flash memory. So all this uh, capacitance is, you know, as you scale your uh, your word line and your bit line, these floating gates, they come close to each other and uh, essentially this coupling between them uh, increases. You can't uh, uh, make these floating gate cells thinner or you know you can't uh, essentially scale the vertical dimension of this gate stack in general. So as you scale the lateral dimension this coupling becomes worse and worse. Now this is substantially improved when you move from again from 2D to 3D NAND uh, flash memory. The reason for that is you know the control gate is effectively effectively surrounding this uh, surrounding this uh, whole uh, channel. So there are very less electric field lines which can essentially escape out of uh, this uh, out of this uh, circular cylinder. So the coupling which is between uh, these uh, alternate floating gate is kind of limited. There is not much coupling which is you know possible along this direction. 
there could be again some coupling between between for example this uh, floating gate or this uh, charge trap uh, flash layer and this alternate uh, charge trap flash layer which is on a word line which uh, is uh, below or between this word line and the word line which is uh, above but again you can limit that by essentially uh, the thickness of this charge trap uh, flash layer and uh, this charge trap flash layer doesn't need to be as thick as uh, the floating gate uh, cell and because of that this coupling is also very limited so in general because of this uh, gate all around architecture you get a much better electrostatics in a 3d nand uh, cell so this is uh, reflected in this uh, plot from uh, one of the papers uh, from uh, the Intel Micron team and what this is showing is again as you move from a 2D nano 2D nano flash memory based on 20 nanometer design to a 3D nano flash the net interference which is uh, a measure of electrostatic it reduces substantially uh, as you move from 2D to 3D so what happens as a result of that is uh, when you have an array of these cells, you get a much tighter distributions of uh, the threshold uh, voltages. And also, this threshold voltage remains pretty tight when you cycle the cell. So this might be the, uh, the red one might be the initial distribution, and the blue one might be the distribution after, let's say, you know, uh, certain number of program and erase cycle and because of this reduced uh, interference or improved electrostatics you can have a much tighter distribution and you can maintain that as you program and erase the cell because there is less interference because there is less coupling between alternate cells in a 3d9 flash memory now I want to end by pointing towards one of the unique features uh, of uh, 3D NAND electrostatics. So this 3D NAND cell is essentially cylindrical in nature. You have uh, a cylinder which is uh, defining, defined on the top by your uh, control gate and on the bottom by your polysilicon channel. And in between, you have this uh, charge trap flash layer, which is essentially a silicon nitride uh, based dielectric. So if you draw the field lines in this uh, cylindrical channel, they would essentially, you know, start from originate from this polysilicon channel and would uh, terminate at this uh, uh, control gate. But because this cell is cylindrical in nature, you see that the density of these field lines is much higher, much higher towards this uh, polysilicon channel. So you have a much larger electrical field close to this uh, channel and the electrical field decreases as you move, uh, move uh, you know, near to your control gate. Now this would essentially even get uh, get even more exaggerated as you shrink your as you shrink your uh, uh, channel hole size, which you might have to do if you want to pack more memory in the same die. And what would again happen is that these field lines would become even more concentrated towards the center of this uh, cylinder. So now you can think of it like, you know, as you shrink it more, this uh, channel in the middle would essentially re start to resemble uh, a point source or uh, essentially the electric field lines around that channel would become even more dense and you would have uh, even higher electrical field towards the center of this cylinder. Now this has some uh, implications for uh, the 3D NAND flash uh, memory operation and I'm showing you know some of them uh, in this uh, picture so as you essentially in 
decrease the uh, hole diameter as you shrink it there is what this is plotting it's plotting the electric it's plotting the uh, electric field or the band diagram uh, which essentially you know depends upon the electric field as you go from as you go from your uh, polysilicon channel towards your control gate and uh, in between you would have your charge trap flash layer over here so now essentially as you decrease the diameter of your hole you'll see that more and more of that electric field is essentially dropping in this uh, tunnel oxide which is surrounding the polysilicon channel and uh, less of it is dropping less of it is dropping in this blocking oxide which is near to the control gate so this would essentially uh, help you in certain aspects by because of this electric field is higher in the tunnel oxide it's easier to program the cell so you won't uh, need as high of a programming voltage you can decrease it uh, because or for a given programming voltage you would have a faster time to program because this electrical field is favoring this electrons to essentially tunnel through this tunnel oxide into the charge trap per layer so this is the advantage, uh, but uh, there are some disadvantages as well. So because when you have charge stored in this uh, charge trap layer, there would be again higher electrical field in this tunnel oxide, which would also enable these charge to, uh, which is stored in the charge uh, trapping flash to leak out more easily uh, because of this uh, cylindrical nature of 3D9 flash cell.